Welcome to our first 2023 Startup Ecosystem Summit. Uh, we're very pleased to have you all here, especially over uh, 10 government agencies and ecosystem representatives from North America, South America, Eastern Europe, Africa, and Central Asia. Excited to share with you why you should consider their ecosystem for relocation, investment, and what is their ecosystem's unique incentives that might be a much, much better opportunity and a location than many other giant ecosystems around the world. I will quickly uh, go over the presenters uh, and the ecosystems that we'll be presenting. Uh, let me quickly share a screen with you. So our first ecosystem that will be presenting uh, the initiatives in their ecosystem, the incentives uh, will be Markham Municipality. Toronto Markham area is ranked first in Canada, the top ecosystem in Canada, and they're ranked 10th in the world. Uh, Markham Municipality has all the great things that the great uh, joint ecosystems has to offer, plus many uh, unique uh, incentives that are very specific for themselves. Uh, and we, the next ecosystem will be the Medellin. Um, we have uh, actually, sorry, uh, we have Ms. Lack, the uh, uh, business manager, business development manager for Markham Municipality. Uh, welcome, Ms. Lack. It's great to have you. Thank you so much. I'm just uh, about to share my screen. Can you hear me okay, Mahmoud? Yes, you can go ahead and share the screen. Awesome. Great. Can you can you see my screen? Okay. Yes. Um, maybe you would like to. Uh, yeah. Perfect. Awesome. Thank you so much for the introduction, Mahmoud and Katrin, for inviting us to be part of the Startup Blink ecosystem summit. Very excited to be here this morning uh, to talk about uh, Markham Startup ecosystem. So, as Mahmoud mentioned, my name is Miss La Balogon. I'm a senior business development officer with the city of Markham, and I'm representing the Department of Economic Growth, Culture, and Entrepreneurship. So to jump right into it, where is Markham Canada? So this is a zoomed in map. Highlighted in yellow is Markham. We are directly above the city of Toronto, and uh, essentially we're part of the greater Toronto area. Uh, we have a very strong startup ecosystem, normally lumped in with Toronto. Uh, however, we're trying to, to put a face to Markham's ecosystem as well. So happy to talk about that today. So uh, this map here really just shows that we're close to other major uh, centers in the U.S. as well as uh, Canadian cities by air and also uh, by road if, if that's your preferred mode of travel. So the population of Markham is uh, 338,500. It's a really diverse community. So uh, over 70% are visible minorities and that's mainly represented by Chinese and South Asian backgrounds. We also have a very well-educated uh, population. So over 70% have some sort of post-secondary education. That's a real strong play for a startup who's looking for talent. Uh, that said, we are also close to seven universities and eight colleges within a one hour drive. And I would like to point out that uh, Markham's uh, uh, startup ecosystem is really powered by the private sector. So we are uh, one of the few uh, areas, I would say, that doesn't have a, an anchor research institution or university, yet we have such a burgeoning startup system or ecosystem rather, where there's a lot of IP being developed. So that said, we are getting our own university. York University's uh, second campus will be in Markham in 2024. They'll start out with 4,200 students, which will then grow to 10,000 eventually. Again, the benefit for, for, for a startup here is having a university where the programs will be catered to the jobs of tomorrow. So this is something that we're really proud of. That said, Markham is also home to Seneca College and they've been here since uh, 2005. 
we like to say that we are Canada's second largest tech hub, and uh, we have the largest concentration of tech firms per thousand residents. And so this chart, what it's really looking at are uh, Canadian tech hubs with a population greater than 250,000. So I'm, I'm happy to share these slides. I'll provide my email address uh, at the end of the presentation. Uh, so I'll, I'm just uh, zooming through to be able to keep to the time that I was given. Uh, that that said, so Markham's uh, bloodline is really run by tech and you know, innovation. So this slide really just shows the heavy hitters. But here are some of where our startups are, are, are being founded, former IBM employees, AMD employees, former Qualcomm employees starting uh, their own enterprises. So in total, we have 1,500 tech companies that are creating over 35,000 jobs. And here are some of the industries that, that uh, are strong on Markham, so life sciences, auto tech in terms of EVs and uh, autonomous vehicles, semiconductors. Uh, so Markham actually has the largest concentration of semiconductor companies uh, in Canada. Professional services is another strength, food and beverage, clean tech, as well as finance and insurance. So what this next slide is really pointing out is the amount of support that startups get while uh, they are in Markham. So there are funding organizations, there are incubators and accelerators, there's support from the different levels of government, uh, as well, as I mentioned earlier, the enterprise organization. We have an organization called Tech Connects that organize peer groups. So startups can join the CEO peer group to speak with other CEOs to understand various, or to start, try to solve various challenges uh, that they're facing. So. Just uh, wanted to talk about one of our, our, our accelerators, Venture Lab, and they are geared towards hardware technology and enterprise software companies. They're led by seasoned entrepreneurs and business leaders with decades of industry experience. One of the programs that I wanted to touch on today is their Hardware Catalyst Initiative. They've actually just announced uh, applications into their new cohort. And the Hardware Catalyst Initiative is really Canada's first hardware and semiconductor focused program. So if you're a startup in that space, hardware or semiconductor R&D, you're able to use this prototype and testing lab that has equipment that costs $7 million. So where else will you find uh, uh, that advantage to be able to test some of the R&D that you're working on? Right here in Markham, it's at no cost to the company if they're accepted into the program and they don't have to give up any equity into their company. So it's such a great advantage. Uh, Tech Undivided is, a, is another uh, program that's run by Venture Lab. But I'll skip right to two incubators right here in Markham. The first is White Space, and they're focused on supporting growth ready tech and food and beverage ventures. Ella is uh, one of the, the programs, it's Ontario's first accelerator focused on supporting women led product and service based businesses. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, Markham is such a diverse community. So having the ability to support different diverse groups is something that st startups will find here. So Wisebase also, for instance, works with black entrepreneurs, which I think is a, 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 a real benefit. Seneca Helix, as I mentioned, Seneca is a, a college here in Markham. Helix is their innovation and entrepreneurship incubator. They really welcome students and members of the community to develop their entrepreneurial mindset. Uh, I believe that's all I have time to speak about today. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to join future summits, but I've left my email address here. I'm also on LinkedIn if you want to connect further. I'm happy to, to speak about any of these things with you. Thank you so much. And I really look forward to hearing other presentations this morning. Thank you, Ms. Lat. Uh, it's a pleasure to have you. Um, just just uh, on a comment on what you mentioned about how diverse the city is, I think uh, Markham is, has over 65 cultures and languages uh, and, and it's the most diverse city uh, with the highest high tech concentration in the world. 